So this is my super yum box for July. It took me a little longer to get it. Um, there was even some tape on it. I think USPS, who gets it after FedEx, I believe, um, probably damaged it. Uh, they, I usually open it, not actually open it, open it, but get it to where I can open it on the video because, uh, you know, it's not easy to do it one-handed. And this time the bottom part was already pretty much ripped open, but there was tape on the side. Um, so I'm here at night, finally, about five days later than typical, doing my Super Yum Box opening for July. So I already pretty well know what month it's gonna be, and wow, they've got even more tape on it. So that's lovely. And usually this is not on there. And so everybody gets to wait longer, just like me, to enjoy looking at the yummy snacks. And it's very difficult, like I said, when you do not have a camera person to help you. So yeah, they definitely damaged this box in order to, uh, that's why it took so many more days. I always love it when that happens because it's like they damage it and then act like it was just regular shipping that caused it because it's never had this much tape on it before. So somebody damaged it in transit for sure. And opening that I can actually get it open. And I'm gonna have the same problem on the other side, I have no doubt. Okay, so we've got one part open. So sorry it's taking me longer. Um, I had already stopped the video and thought I had gotten it because I didn't want everybody to wait so long. All right. Getting a little bit better at this uh, one-handed routine of package opening. Okay, I think I got it enough there. Okay, so the, the emer Emerald of the Equator I already knew what it was going to be. Uh, I guessed it in the comments last uh, last month. And nice, this is also damaged. So I get some damaged, uh, you know, for my $40 here. Um, it's not their fault, uh, it's the, you know, the shipping. They put it in a pretty good box, I would say. And it's always been okay every other time. So I'm just gonna, like typical, blame USPS. Uh, anyway, sorry for the the problem of getting it open and, you know, things being not so well treated. Uh, I know USPS doesn't, they don't make very much money and, um, you know, they, the, the, as a government agency, it's pretty well underfunded. Anyway, so back to the actual Yum Box. We have Indonesia here. Um, near Malaysia and Thailand. I'm gonna be going to Thailand later this year again. Maybe someday I'll get to go to Indonesia. I'm pretty excited about this box. We have uh, some interesting stuff. I'd like to see the Komodo dragons. This is a cute, really, really cute map. Uh, so the typical uh, flyer that we get in the uh, super yum boxes. And I'm gonna, I'll look at the flyer in a moment. So we have Cassava crackers, that sounds pretty yummy. Uh, the, the little yum bag that has little bitty treats in it that are different. Some more cassava crackers, that's pretty pretty big. Crip Crip tortilla chips, that sounds good. <laughs> Tic Tac snack. Tapioca snack, grilled beef, that's different. Those over here. Presto corn. Got some cool looking stuff in here. Ooh, superstar. Triple chocolate sensation. Quite a few of those. Yanello, Yanello layer cake. Pandan flavor. Hmm. 
Definitely would like to go to Indonesia someday. Oh my goodness. This is coffee joy. Ooh, this this just this looks amazing. Coffee biscuits. Maybe I'll have that with some of my um coffee tomorrow. Deca crepes. It's more chocolate. I mean I love chocolate, so they're always gonna make me happy with the chocolate stuff. Bing bing. Four delicious tastes in one bite. That looks good. Some of these are the same thing. Yupi. Fruit flavored. I appreciate that they put some, you know, explanations on them. I already looked at that, right? Nope, nope. Cheese and cheese. Becca Jumbo. Yupi Noodles. So Yupi's a brand that's popular there. Taro Net Mix. Hopefully, I didn't lose anything. <laughs> Some more of that corn. So let's look at the um, let's look at the booklet. And make sure we didn't. And I won't be able to open the super yum bag. And then the typical stuff in the booklet. Oh, and I forgot on the back of this. Typically, they have where you tell them this. You. you basically note the snacks you like, solve a puzzle, and then they have like a game you can play. It's really cool stuff, basically, on the back. I would have loved this when I was a kid. I mean, I love it as an adult, and I uh, really would have loved it as a child. And then we've got, you know, some trivia. So here's each of the snacks, you know, information on each of the snacks. Trying to make sure that I covered each of the snacks. Looks like I did for the most part here. Alright, having a problem turning the pages. Coffee Joy, really, like I said, really looking forward to that, the Coffee Joy stuff. Looks like I got everything. And in the Yum bag, we have this. Camera in candy. Hard to look at the camera and make sure you all have it. And then some of this other stuff is candy that's in the, the yum bag. And then they have some information on Indonesia and then the typical recipe, some answers to the trivia, and fun facts. And then the riddle for next month. We're off to a country with many delights. Where bazaars and cotton castles are just two of the sights. There will be yums unlike any you've known. Crunchy sweet berries and crispy spiced cones. So yeah, not the greatest reader in the world, obviously. Many delights, bazaars and cotton castles. Bazaars. I, would, I know they've done Turkey before. Maybe it's like Egypt or Morocco. Cotton Castle. I don't think it would be bizarre. Anyway, well, we'll see. Um, hopefully I can get all these back in, but um, I'm gonna do a, a review on the other uh, boxes that I've gotten um, I'm hoping within a couple weeks. Um, so just the review basically saying the best, the best and the worst. Um, I kind of covered that with the South Korea, Korean box. Um, but I actually have kept the wrappers and we'll mention the best, the worst and the strangest. And actually one of them that I had was, uh, actually almost the best and the strangest, but it was not the cola chips as you can imagine. Anyway, um, Indonesia, uh, hopefully next month's box, when it, whatever country it is, ends up not being in the shape this one was. Have a good day. Bye.